So Pat, you just deployed a new wave energy conversion device. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? The first device has been deployed coming up on a year ago, Northwest Energy Innovations Azura device. So that's been in the water for a while now at the shallowest of the three test berths. Just recently, we have also deployed device number two, which is from a Norwegian company called Fred Olsen. What's the difference between the Fred Olsen Lifesaver and the Azura? If you look at the two devices, they look nothing like each other. In a way, they are similar in that they are both what we call uh, point absorbers, which is a buoy that through conversion of the motion of the ocean produces power. So where the, the difference is that the two companies are using very different approaches to how to convert that motion into electricity. Can you tell me how the Lifesaver actually works to generate electricity from the motion of the waves? With the Fred Olson device, there are no hydraulics involved, what we call the power takeoffs, which which are the, where the magic happens, where the motion is converted into electricity. Those are connected by cables to the seabed in the form of substantial anchors. So as the device moves in the ocean, the cables winch in and out, and the turning of that winch produces the electricity, and they actually have three of those on board the device for this test. These are prototype devices, experimental devices. They're pre-commercial devices. The main goal of the test site is to find out what needs to be improved in order to take the next step in the direction of commercial viability. It really is less about how much power can it produce and more about what we can learn from just the physics of the deployment. Does the basic mechanism work? How does the performance of the device compare with numerical modeling? This is leading in an encouraging direction. We're making a contribution to the global wave energy effort.